Hello everyone. Welcome to Dinesh QL. My name is Dinesh Priyankara, Data Platform MVP and Business Intelligence Architect. Here's another video on Data Lake Analytics. With this video, I'm going to show you the way of accessing external data sources using USQL scripts. Let me show you what I have planned for this video. First of all, let's try to understand where I can use this concept, accessing external sources within USQL statements. Then we'll see how we can get the environment ready for accessing external sources. And finally, I'll be showing you the way of uh, getting these things done within Azure Data Lake Analytics and using USQL. First of all, if you are completely new to Azure Data Lake Store and Azure Data Lake Analytics, I recommend you to watch these two videos. The first one is all about Azure Data Lake Store and the second one is uh, about Azure Data Lake Analytics. So if you are new to Azure Data Lake Analytics, watch these two videos before you continue with this one. Okay, why we need to access external sources using USQL? Let's try to understand this with few scenario. Let's say I have an external data source. Let's say it's a SQL Server database. I want to get a data set from my SQL Server database, do some transformation and pass the result to Azure Data Lake Store. Let's say that's the implementation I have to do. I can use various techniques for uh, implementing this. I can use Azure Data Factory Pipeline or I can use integration service package. There are many ways. But let's say that uh, the transformation has to be done using USQL. So if that is the case, in order to access the data set, I want to make sure that data set is initially saved in Azure Data Lake Store. Then only I can use extract statement for getting data into my environment, do the transformation and use output statement for sending the result to my Azure Data Lake Store. However, as you see, this needs an additional step. We need to make sure that initial data set is stored in Azure Data Lake Store account. What if, if I can skip that part and refer the data set as an external data set? That's what we talk about with this video. This is my USQL module and these are my external sources. I'll talk about these types and this is my Azure Data Lake Store and the account. So if I want to access a table in my external source, I can simply refer it as an external data set and do the transformation within my USQL module and send the result to Azure Data Lake Store. So I can do like this. Not only that, I can again uh, refer a data set as external data set and then I can store this transformed data set in uh, one of Azure Data Lake Analytics databases. Or else I can uh, refer a data set as external data set within my USQL and combine it with uh, another data set stored in my Azure Data Lake store, do some transformation and pass the result back to Azure Data Lake Store. So, so I can simplify my implementation using this external data set concepts rather than having them initially stored in my Azure Data Lake Store. So let's see what are the things we have to uh, implement in order to access data sets as external data sets. Okay, the first step is creating credential. This is just like the way we have been creating credential with SQL Server in order to connect with uh, different sources. Now, one thing you need to remember is in order to create credential, we cannot use USQL because there are no commands available for creating credentials. So we have to use PowerShell. First of all, you need to log into your Azure account. So you, you can use login hyphen Azure RM account command for logging into your Azure account. Once you have logged in, you can use new hyphen Azure RM data lake analytics catalog credential command for creating credentials. Let's go through parameters. So the first one is account name. That's going to be your Azure Data Lake Analytics account name. Second one is database name. Now remember, this is not the external database. This is the name of the database you have created in your Azure Data Lake Analytics. If you have not created a database in your Azure Data Lake Analytics account, you can simply mention it as master. But if you have created one, you can mention the name of your database. Third one is the name for your credential. So you just, you can type the preferred name for your credential. Fourth one, you have to mention it as get credential. And the fifth one is the server name. So if it is Azure SQL Data Warehouse or Azure SQL Database, then you need to mention the Azure SQL server name. So it will be server name dot database dot Windows net. If you are referring a database in uh, Azure virtual machine, then you need to specify the IP address. 
and the last one is port number. Once it is created, we can log into Azure Data Lake Analytics and see whether it has been created. So the second step is creating an external data source. That can be done using USQL. Here's the command. You can start with create data source and then the name of your data source. As you see with the second statement, this command supports only three types of external data sources. Azure SQL Database, Azure SQL Data Warehouse, and SQL Server configured with Azure Virtual Machine. You might see additional types with future versions, but with the current version, you can create external data sources only for these three types. Then there are a couple of uh, parameters. So the first one is provider string. So that is where you mention your external database name. Second one is credential. That's a credential you created with PowerShell command. Third one, remotable types. Remotable types determine uh, where these expressions have to be uh, evaluated if you have mentioned with your statements. For example, let's say you have a statement like select all from customer where customer ID equal 100. So you have an expression which is customer ID equal 100. So if the customer ID is integer and integer type is mentioned with remotable types, then this evaluation of this expression will be pushed to external data source end. But if the type INT has not been mentioned with remotable types, then evaluation of this expression will be uh, done at Azure Data Lake Analytics end. So it is always better to uh, mention all possible data types, then you can push expressions to external data source end rather than having them evaluated at Data Lake Analytics end. Remember, these are not external data, type, external data source data types. All these are USQL data types. Once the data source is created, we can start using it. There's no concept like creating external tables. We can simply refer tables uh, using external data source. There are two ways of accessing data in external data source. The first method is this. I can say select my column list from external, the data source I have created, execute and the statement. So with this method, I can get data from multiple tables because I can write the entire select statement within this. But the second method is a bit different. It starts from select column list from external and the name of your external data source. And you can see the location keyword has been used for referring the table name. And the statement can be extended with where clauses like source code equal 90605. So these are the two methods that can be used for querying external data source. Okay, let's see how we can do all of these things with uh, Azure Data Lake Analytics. I'll be showing the way of creating credential using PowerShell command. Then I'll show you the way of creating external data source using USQL. And finally, let's see how we can access external data using USQL select statements. Okay, let me show you my environment. So this is the Azure SQL Data Warehouse. I have created with uh, one of my Azure SQL servers and I'll be accessing this sales ADW as my external data source. And let me show you my Azure Data Lake Analytics account. This is my Azure Data Lake Analytics account. Uh, let me open Data Explorer and this is the Azure Data Lake store account which is related to my analytics account. Now uh, I have uh, placed a file called sales in native data and there are a couple of subfolders like sales 2018 and these are the uh, sales files and I'll be using these sales files with my USQL. In addition to that, I can see the catalog and if I expand this account in my catalog, I can see master database, but I'm going to create a new database. Now remember the first step is creating credential, but in order to create credential, we need to have our own database. I can use the master database for creating credential, but let me create a new database. Okay, this is the project I'm going to use uh, uh, for executing USQL statement. It's a Visual Studio project, which has been created using USQL template. Now, you can see I have connected with my Azure Data Lake Analytics account, and I have written the statement saying, create database, if not exist, name of the database is staging. Let me execute this statement for creating my Data Lake Analytics account database. It is done. Let me close this 
and let me go into my Azure Data Lake Analytics and see whether this database has been created. I can see my staging database. Now what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to connect with my Azure account using PowerShell and then uh, creating credentials. Let me open PowerShell. So I'll be using Windows PowerShell ISC. These are the two commands I'm going to use with PowerShell. So first one is login Azure RM account. Let me copy and paste and execute. Let me log into my Azure account. Okay, I have logged in. So let me show you the command I'm going to execute for creating credentials. As you see, I'm using this PowerShell command and I'm passing account name as my Data Lake Analytics account. Database name, it is staging. This is the one I just created in my Azure Data Lake Analytics account. Credential name, I'm going to name this as credential underscore DSQL server 100. Then I have to pass get credential for credentials. Database host, this is my Azure SQL server name, database windows.net and the port is 1433. Let me copy this and paste and execute. So I need to enter user ID and password for my Azure SQL server. So this is my uh, Azure SQL server user ID and this is my password. Done. Now I can go into my Azure Data Lake Analytics and see whether this credential has been created. Let me expand staging. Let me expand credentials node. I can see. So I can see my credential has been created with my staging database. Okay. Now the next step is creating external data source. Let me go back to my USQL project. Okay. This is a statement for creating my uh, external data source. I'll be executing create data source if not text is name of the data source so I'm going to name this as source underscore sales ADW from Azure SQL data warehouse because that's the external source I'm going to use and the provider string this is my database name and the rest is same credential this is the credential I just created using PowerShell command and I'm passing all possible data types using remotable types parameter let me execute this too now before I execute I need to make sure this is getting executed not in master database in staging database why I created this credential inside staging database let me click on submit okay job started and it is completed let me go into my uh, staging database and see whether it has been created I can see external data sources node if I expand it I should see it. so this is the one I just created Okay, so everything is available. Now I should be able to access my Azure SQL Data Warehouse using select statements. Let me go back to my project. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to get some data from my sales file. So this is a statement I have written for it. Extract from sales files based on this schema. And then I'm referring my external data source. So this is how I have written it. Select these two columns from external and this is my external data source name location is dbo.date so basically I'm trying to get records from date table with these two columns and once I have this date result sets and sales result set I'm going to make a join to summarize my sales based on this column value so as you see I have written a select statement from sales inner join with dates this is the data set that have been created using this statement which mean this has external data and join in these two using these two columns and finally I'm summarizing the data set using grouping and aggregation so the output will be written to a file called sales summary 2018 CSV now you don't need to worry about the logic what you have to understand is how I can or how we can access external data sources so this is the statement you need to focus on okay now let me execute this statement and see whether it works 
again I need to make sure I select staging database because my external source has been created with staging database. Let me click on submit. Job started. I can see how my USQL statements are getting executed. Okay, it is done. So let me go into my Azure Data Lake Analytics or Azure Data Lake Store and see whether the summary file has been created. I can see the file, so it has been created. So which means USQL statement has been successfully executed. Okay, so that's how you access external data sources using USQL. So remember the steps you have to first create credential and then create the data source and then you can uh, refer your data sets or the tables in your external data source either using a SQL statement or using the table name. If you have any question on this, uh, you can either email me or you can put a comment to this video. I'll make sure you have the answer within short time period. Okay, once again, thanks for watching.